catch up from what you need to know right. And many of you have heard about the periodic table. Let's dig on deeper into this lesson. First of all, let's talk about elements. First, what is an element? Well, an element is a substance made of only one type of atom. Say you have a giant piece of gold, I mean giant, and then you break it down to a super microscopic minuscule piece, and if it still has the quant and it still has the qualities of the bigger piece of gold, that means it's an ele element. First, what is the periodic table? The periodic table is a way to arrange elements by their atomic number, which is how many protons are in the nucleus of an atom and their chemical properties. There are 118 elements in the periodic table present today. They can be arranged in rows and columns. The rows can, there are seven rows and they can also be called periods in the periodic table. And there are 18, and there are 18 columns, also known as groups or families in the periodic table. Let's talk about the elements in a group. Well, a group has the same chemical behaviors and has the same amount of electrons in the atom of shell. First, what's a shell? Well, it's not those ones that you find at the beach and you tell your mom, hey, look, mom, I found a shell. No, it's not those. Um, they're, think of the Earth as the nucleus and the moon as the electron. It circles around the Earth like an electron would do to the nucleus. Let's, let's talk about the first column in the periodic table. It, they are the alkali metals. They include sodium, potassium, etc. Well, except for hydrogen because that's a gas. But let's talk about that later. Later on in the video, I'll talk about that. But right now, let's talk about the alkali metals. The alkali metals are soft silvery metals that are really reactive with water. They are super reactive that you can't find them in their natural state. So that means you can't just find like a piece of potassium lying in front of your doorstep. Let's talk about group two. They are the alkaline earth metals. The alkaline earth metals are reactive, but not as reactive as group one, which are the alkaline metals. Yet they are reactive enough to not be found in your natural state. Now let's talk about group three to 12. They are the transition metals. Let's first talk about metals in general. They are solids in room temperature, except for mercury, which is a liquid in room temperature. And they can be malleable, that means if if you smash it with a hammer, it'll flatten out, but say something like glass, if you break that, it'll shatter. And they can also conduct heat and electricity. Now let's talk about the non-metal part of the periodic table. Non, the non-metals are not malleable. That means if you smash it, it will just shatter to pieces and you can't put it back together again unless if you glue it. And they cannot conduct heat or electricity, and they aren't ductile, so you can't form them or shape them into wires. And also they can come in any state of matter. They can become into a gas, liquid, and solid. Now let's talk about group 17 in the non-metals group in the periodic table. These are the halogens. No, these are not Halloween. They include bromine, chlorine, and fluorine, and, and other more. They, these are colorful and very reactive. Now let's talk about group 18 in the non-metals. These are called the noble gases. They include helium, neon, and argon. These aren't reactive, they aren't reactive at all, 
Now we've talked about metals and nonmetals. What divides them? Well, there's this zigzag line called the metalloids, which is kind of like metals and nonmetals combined. First, they conduct a small amount of heat and electricity, and some of these include boron, arsenic, germanium, and silicon. Say, um, silicon can conduct electricity, but not that much electricity as, say, a piece of iron. But it produces more electricity than a piece of carbon. Now we've covered all the columns, which are also called groups. We've covered the alkali metals, the alkaline earth metals, the transition metals, the metalloids, the non-metals, the halogens, and the noble gases. Now let's move on to the periods or rows. These can be arranged by their weight or number of shells. The lightest goes on the top and the, and the least amount of shells goes on top, and then the bottom amount of sh shell and the greatest amount of shells, and the heaviest go on the bottom. Say there's only one, sh there's one shell in helium and hydrogen, but the, in the first row, but in the fourth row, selenium and potassium have four shells. Now it's conclusion time. Now you've learned what, a, what the periodic table is, what the different types of groups are, what a group is, what a period is, what's an element, what the, and what's a shell. I hope this video has helped you learn a lot about the periodic table. This is me, Keshav, signing out.